Live. Hello, this is Rich Bernardo, the producer and director of Crazy Insane Radio, the series, a Rich Bernardo production. This is the director's commentary. This is going to be an informal chat. Uh, this is a bonus feature extra in which I will be commenting on the uh, various episodes of Crazy Insane Radio. First of all, I want to welcome you to the universe in which Crazy and Saint Radio takes place. Welcome to the city of Murgatroyd and its neighbor city, Flat Town, populated by all sorts of interesting and strange people that you'll meet in this continuing series. In episode two, I introduce the theater where there's a chilling double feature going. I was a teenage cannibal and Diary of a Mad Drag Queen. These are great B-movies, you know, something along the lines of maybe what Ed Wood would have done. And this will be a recurring theme throughout my episodes. It comes up later in uh, that same uh, episode two, Revenge of the Statue of the Buddha, another great B-exploitation thriller. Another recurring feature that will pop up from time to time in various uh, episodes of Crazy Insane Radio is the random telephone call sample. And these are actual uh, telephone calls with uh, different people in the past that uh, in the universe of our wonderful Murgatroyd city. And this will be a recurring thing also. And usually these are very dynamic and exciting and heated discussions that are taking place in these random telephone call samples. Uh, another recurring theme is the country and western hits. And the, again, these have outrageous, absurd titles, absurd, outrageous content, because in the crazy, insane radio world of Murgatroyd City, everything is slightly over the top. Another thing that's introduced in episode two is the CRZY weather, with its slogan, the eyes have it. And of course, that famous CRZY weather jingle that you'll hear over and over again, it's a recurring theme that's introduced in episode two. Then in episode three, Apronhead's Last Stand. Uh, we introduced Dr. Derrickson and Dr. Flipshire, who both come on. Dr. Flipshire is a hillbilly psychiatrist uh, from Flat Town, and they both come on and they make uh, their psychological observations of Apronhead. Uh, and he's the insane person who uh, destroyed the paper doll factory by burning it down and then Dal gasoline on himself and uh, killed himself and the uh, owner of the paper doll factory. But we also have another character that's introduced in Episode 3, Japanese business magnate Fudiki Hiramoto, who has plans to reopen the paper doll factory. And then right about that time, one of the coolest effects that I, that I have going in this Episode 3, there's this little paper doll that goes flitting across the screen uh, right, right after the <laughs> Hiramoto character is introduced. Uh, Sawmill City is referenced, and Flat Town is referenced, too. Even the road sign going uh, to Flat Town is shown. Then in Episode 4, we have a news bulletin, uh, and it's Hugh Millicent. And, of course, he takes you to the Senator Quint hearings, the uh, House Senate hearings, into the Vincini Cosmetics. And this is our – in this episode, we meet Senator Quint, uh, who is a figure who occurs again in a later episode. And we meet Judy, Judy Vincini, the uh, – CEO and owner of the Vincini Cosmetics, and she's also a, a main central character to Murgatroyd City, to the crazy, insane radio, and she's a recurring character. So this was my commentary for Episodes 2, 3, and 4. Enjoy listening to Crazy Insane Radio. Enjoy watching the videos. Uh, they're all over my Facebook group. They're also available on Vimeo and on YouTube. Eventually, they'll be released on disc, too. So, enjoy Crazy Insane Radio, a Rich Bernardo production.